Hey, Joey Varner for MMA 30, and I'm on the red carpet at Planet Hollywood. We're here tonight for the premiere of the most star-studded, biggest action movie of the summer, The Expendables. Six-time UFC champ, and now a major action star. Randy Couture, how are you feeling tonight? Awesome. This is a lot of fun. Now, the movie's packed with some of the biggest action stars of all time. Who were you most excited to work with? I think everybody was most excited to work with Sly. I mean, he, you know, he wrote this film, he directed it, he was starring in it, and to be a part of that, I mean, that, that takes you back to, to, to the original Rocky, and uh, it was definitely, I think, a benchmark for action films, kind of re resurrecting the old school action film. Now, I got a real important question. You've got MMA champs Randy Couture and Antonio Nogueira in the yeah. movie. Now, if you were growing up today, do you think that you would train and compete and fight in mixed martial arts? Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, it just was an unheard of thing when I started out, but... I think it's the most refreshing, innovative, modern throwback to what real fighting was. Almost gladiatorial fighting, which it was all different styles. We thought about it in the in the Coliseum, you had swords and tridents and wrestling, and then fists with spikes on it. And you put it all together, and you have modern day MMA. I'm incredibly proud of what you guys are doing. And I think it's extraordinary. And having Randy Couture, a, a true legendary badass. No one can say we were pretending because this is a guy who will jump off the screen and do it for real. And I think that's what helped with the Expendables. And if I get to do an Expendables 2, I plan on going into MMA and borrowing a few more people. So we may be coming for you. I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready, Sly. Okay, now you're a big action star now, but some of your fellow wrestlers like Batista and Brock, Larson, Brock Lesnar are making the transition to mixed martial arts. What are your thoughts on that? Hey, well, you know, Brock's a world heavyweight champion, so my thoughts on him are, you know, he's doing phenomenal. He's uh, he's beating everybody up, and he's drawing lots of money on the pay-per-view, so he's being incredibly successful uh, uh, as far as Batista goes. We'll see. I wish him all the luck in the world. He does have some skills, and I think that's what he's got his heart set on now, so it'll be interesting to see how he does. Any chance we'll ever see Stone Cold Steve Austin jump in the cage? No. But back in the day, if, if, I, if I'd have known about mixed martial arts when I was a kid growing up in South Texas, it would have been something I would have pursued. Uh, I, I love uh, the sport. I love the mentality of it. But I'm not saying that I would have been a world champion. But, it, yeah, I would have definitely uh, pursued it. Let me ask you, you've got Randy Couture, a, a, a mixed martial arts champion, making the crossover and getting into acting. You, an action star, you ever thought about making the crossover and getting into mixed martial arts fighting? Come on, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's not be silly now. <laughs> and now i got to ask you, all I keep hearing about is your gun in this movie, man. you got to give me the lowdown on the showdown and break down the piece that you were working with. Dude, this thing is called an AA-12. And it's the most vicious piece of weaponry you have ever seen in your life. I pray to God it does not get in the wrong hand. It's like a nuclear bomb. You know, it's like the red button, and you just hope your kids are not playing around the freaking red button because it could blow up everything as you know it. You can take out neighborhoods. Each bullet is has a bomb in it, so it's overkill. This is overkill. It, it's really ridiculous. I'm actually co-star up to this gun. That's the thing. The gun is the lead. I'm co-star. I got happy to hold it. Do me a favor, can you give me an autograph from the gun? Oh, dude, I, I got you, brother. I, I have to fire your name into, into a wall. <laughs> it's Hell yeah, good. brother. Thank you, man. Oh, thank you, brother. Thank awesome. you. This is Terry Crews, and you are watching MMA 30, boy. I'm here at the gun store, and I'm ready to lock and load. They say what happens here stays here. So how about something you'll never forget? This is the adult Disney World right here. Like hitting up the shooting range just a few miles off the strip at the one and only gun store. I've never shot a gun before, yeah, so... Uh, this is going to be great. You're going to, yeah. like, learning to drive at the Indy 500. Turns out, I'm a natural. Oh, whoa! That is awesome! <laughs> right. <laughs> you did point Sorry. Yeah. Machine guns, rifles, locks. No weapon off limits. This is probably one of the very few places in the world you can shoot one of these without having someone shoot back at you. Never shot a gun before? No problem. There's no license required by you. You just have to be big enough. Perfect for bachelor or bachelorette parties. Lots of packages to choose from. There's even a VIP range. We give refreshments. It's mm -hmm. private. It's quiet. Purchase your own at the gun store or just stop by for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Come right on down here. We'll put a gun in your hand. You can be on a range in 15, 20 minutes. No problem. I love it.